The pandemic is changing the way we live in America. One long term effect we've seen is shortages. Supply chain issues and lockdowns are a leading cause in factories halting production. Our Laura Margolis takes us to a well known chain in East Texas business to show us how the delays and lack of production affect both and the reasons behind the problem in this KETK special report. It's hard to find anything these days. School supplies for your students, groceries for your family, and even pet supplies for your furry friends. I've seen sticky notes everywhere of, you know, call this person when this gets, so yeah, there is a, a, a little list, you might say. Everywhere you look, there's a shortage of something. Restaurants are dealing with a nationwide shortage. A lot of people can't find some of their favorite items. Labor and product shortages. And here in East Texas, it's no different. You're going from store to store looking for things and um, then you're wasting your gas money and then you're paying a higher price at another store for this product if you find it. One of the many stores experiencing these shortages firsthand is PetSmart. Most of it is due to the COVID you know, pandemic. Retailers are not using that as an excuse. That actually is a real situation. We visited the one located on South Broadway Avenue in Tyler to, to find out what they are struggling to restock most. Various dog foods and cat foods. That's what we're seeing a shortage of right now. Not a big shortage. Not enough to say, oh, let's go panic buy everywhere. It's just, you know, sometimes it might be later getting here or, you know, it's just they're waiting on the ingredients themselves. PetSmart employees say they have a lot of product for certain brands and flavors, but if you're looking for something more specific, like in our case, Chihuahua food for Miss Gigi here, it's possible they may not have it in. In fact, when we went looking for this exact product in PetSmart, they told us that it was out of stock indefinitely. The manufacturers are having trouble getting the products in and the ingredients is in. Uh, sometimes it's workers in the factories, you know, they're having a shortage of those and then the shipments of getting it here. So there's various reasons why we're not getting some of the products. In some areas of the store, you can find empty shelves like this. To make shelves look less bare, a trick stores use is stocking them with a lot of the same product. At PetSmart, we sell the products, we don't manufacture them, so we're kind of at their mercy. PetSmart also has a shortage of small animals like birds. <laughs> and hamsters. Even with like reptiles or snakes, we haven't gotten a snake in in like six months now. And as far as our bigger birds, we almost went a whole year without them before we saw one conyard. The reason is many breeders haven't been breeding as much due to the effects of the pandemic. The main thing is just the COVID restrictions. So it's been harder to travel. So certain breeders can't get to certain locations, certain people, other types of animals. Even locally owned businesses are struggling with the nationwide shortage. I will find myself having to turn people away because the inventory that I saw that was coming that should have been there won't come until that following Monday. That's frustrating. Jacqueline Henley owns everything that blings a boutique in Kilgore. She says several of her suppliers didn't survive the pandemic. We've had to find new wholesalers or new ways of doing it because a lot of the businesses didn't make it through COVID. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says to solve these massive shortages, we have to tackle the source. The best way to end a pandemic related shortage is to end the pandemic. He believes the recently passed $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill will fix some of these problems, but experts say we will continue seeing shortages into the new year. You got the port itself, it's kind of like a landlord. Then you got the terminal operators, then you got the truckers, and all of them are interacting with competing shipping companies, right, to try to efficiently move these containers. Businesses say they are doing what they can to satisfy customers through the delays. What do you do? You improvise, you do the best and give the best customer service that you can possibly give um, in, in a time like this. If there's an item you can't find, retail workers suggest substituting it with something similar. You might discover a new item or brand that you like. Usually if they can come in and let us help them, then what happens is we can find them something very comparable to what they're looking for. You can also plan ahead and order items in advance, like the many who are holiday shopping earlier to make sure they check off every wish list item. I'm about through with Christmas shopping because I hear the rumors that they're going to run out of everything. Besides that, experts say all we can do now is wait. Lauren Margolis, KTK News.